So we've got two buttons left. Uh, the first one uh, is going to be the play pause symbol, and the second one is a plus and minus volume symbol. Now at this point, it's wise to save the work. So I may save it as a um, microphone, just so that I know how far through uh, I've progressed. And once it's saved, I can see if it's finished saving by opening up the data panel. And you can see and the sort of saving icon uh, spinning around there. So once that's finished, I know it's saved. Now, if I ever decide that there's a huge mistake and I just want to open up a, a previous version, I can click on the V4 tab here and it will open all of the previous saves that I've done. Now, I can jump them to the top by promoting it if I feel that that is the one that I want to work on. Uh, or I can right click and delete the most recent one. Now, our next job is going to be to create a sketch. And we're going to create uh, the play pause symbol on this surface here. So I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to revisit an old skill, which is where I use a central construction line. That happens, just undo your line or select it and delete it. Okay, so I'm going to click on line again, and from the center, I'm just going to drag across and click and drag a line. Now, the length doesn't matter too much. Uh, as long as you feel it's going to clear the whole of the play pause symbol, I'm going to press on the green tick and then I'm going to select the line and press X to turn it into that construction line. Now I'm going to try and use um, sort of lengths uh, that I've used for some of the previous shapes. So I'm going to click on rectangle, center rectangle, and I'm going to click on what we'll click and drag a 0.5 wide. But this time I'm going to do it four uh, millimeters in height. So I'm going to press return and I'm going to double click to select the whole of the rectangle and I'm going to uh, command C, command V to copy and paste. I'm going to move one across by minus one. Press return. Then I'm going to command V again. And I'm going to drag the second one across by. 3.5 at 3. Press return. Now, finally, I'm going to use the line tool, and from the corner, I'm going to drag the line up here to 3.2, about 3.2. So, I'm going to drag a second one so that it joins. Then, I'm going to use the trim tool again to take out the lines that I don't want. Now the design itself isn't central, so I'm going to <clears throat> use the select tool. I'm going to double click on this rectangle, hold shift, double click on this one, and double click on the triangle. I'm going to press M for move. I'm going to slide the triangle across, and I'm happy with that new position. Now if one of the rectangles didn't move, it might mean that it's locked to the center. So I'll try and move that one individually. So I'm going to double click on it and press M for move. And that's OK. <clears throat> All right, so now finish sketch again. Extrude. I'm going to bring the triangle and the two rectangles out by 0 0.01. I'm going to move on to the um, volume button as well. So I'll do it in the same tutorial. I'm going to click on Create Sketch. I'm going to zoom in, and I'm going to use this center line uh, to be the start of my plus symbol. So I'm going to go into Create Rectangle and Center Point Rectangle. I'm going to click and drag a rectangle that is 0.5 by 4. I'm going to press Return. That drops the rectangle, and I'm going to double click on the rectangle. No, in fact, I won't. I will go on to create rectangle and center rectangle. 
I'll do the same from the center of this one, but this time I'll do 0 0.5 in width and 4 in length. Now if I double click on this um, horizontal rectangle, I can press Command C and Command V, and that will allow us uh, our minus symbol that we can move down. When we're happy with the position, press Enter. And I'm going to zoom in on the center of the plus symbol. I'm going to use the trim tool. And this time I'm just going to click and wipe like it's an eraser. I'm going to do it nice and slowly so that I don't get any of the lines wrong. And then I'm going to zoom out, click on finish sketch. And I'm going to extrude one and two by 0 0.01. So now we have the buttons uh, complete. I'm going to click on save. I'm going to call it completed buttons. Press enter. 